guys, I got the Cosmos come in here in 04 Ford Expedition. So what happened, he cut it all of these. So I'm pretty sure that once he cut this uh, pl plug right here, this harness right here, it definitely, if he cut it, looks like he cut it all at the same time. So it definitely gonna short something out already. So luckily I see some of the wire right there. I can cheat a little bit or I can test one by one, but uh, I'm gonna be cheating a little bit. I'm gonna get this plug right here. It's a uh, if you're gonna install it, this is what you need. If you don't, if you didn't cut this harness, you're gonna need wrap FD 5520. That's the harness for it, and then you need a mounting kit for 95 50 26. In this case, customer doesn't want this, and this is not gonna work anymore. So I'm gonna just shove this in. It should stay, and I'm gonna prop uh, a hot glue it on the side of it so it stay. He didn't wanna spend that kind of money. So I'm going to plug this thing in here and I'm going to figure out which color is what. Just by installing this, I auto automatic kind of knew that, uh, where's that horn is at? I thought I brought it with me. Well, actually, I'm going to do a couple of testing. It's a lot easier to test this. Just put a test test light right there and first you want to put the uh, light green violet that should be staying power on light green violet that should light up right here nope so he popped a few somewhere and then also the ignition should be pink that if you turn the key on it should come on and let me put the key in So that one worked right here. You see the light? When you turn the key on, it stayed on. That's ignition. That one will go to the red wire. I'm gonna take the key off. So I'm gonna hook up the red wire and strip it. I don't know if it should, should pass fast forward this video or it should just uh, go easy on this. I think I'm gonna go easy because some of these are a little bit difficult. But uh, anyway, that uh, light green and purple is 12 volt. I'm gonna find the fuse for it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll find the fuse. There's, the fuse popped somewhere. So I'm gonna hook it up on the yellow. Guys, you never should should cut like this. That's, that's a bad, mis that's a mis big mistake right there for cutting that. And then also I'm gonna run the ground. The ground should be black wire or black green is ground black and light green is ground or black wire is ground so this wire right there strip it because a lot of people think oh yeah i can install it without uh going by the wiring harness and that's that's the problem right here so now i got all this main three wire hooked up so uh I'm not gonna hook up the, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a built-in uh, amplifier. I'm gonna cut the blue wire right here. Put it down a little bit more. Video, uh, I should take this down. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna put the speaker wire. I'm gonna go to the left front speaker, which is orange and light green, and then light blue and white. I'm also going to test that and see if it's uh, orange and light green, white and light blue. Uh, no, actually orange, light green, light blue and white. It should, as you can see right there, they wrap together like this. Right there, orange and light green and light blue and white. That should be the front. When I say orange and light green, usually orange and light green is positive. The, the one I said first is positive. I must use this one. You can use a 9 volt and test the same way. Just put one to the positive, one to the next. Let's see if it beep. So you can hear the noise. So that one should be the uh, white color right there. So white, solid white will go to orange and light green. 
and then uh, white, black should go to light blue and white. So next one, I'm gonna go to the right front, which is the gray. Gray, right front would be white and light green, dark green and orange. White and light green, dark green and orange. I'm gonna test that in, in, a, in a second also, just to make sure that speaker is working so I can tell the customer, hey, your speaker ain't working. So it works. So white and light green will go to the gray. And then gray black will go to green and orange. Uh, dark green and orange. I hate to say dark green. I cannot even say dark green, right? It sounds like dark. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the left rear, which is uh, behind the driver's seat uh, would be gray and light blue and tan and yellow gray and light blue tan and yellow so gray and light blue will go to the green which is positive the solid color is always positive the one with the black stripe is negative And then uh, green black will go to tan and yellow, which is negative. We'll go to the green and black again. I repeat that again. So the, the last one would be the one that's wrapped like this. You should know that orange, red is positive. That will go to the, uh, ooh, he missing a Y right here. Hmm. So that why it pulled off. I'm gonna have to make that work. So, so I'm gonna hook up the, uh, he missing the positive side. So I'm gonna hook up the uh, purple and black to brown and pink because that's the negative side. And then after I fix this, let me fix this real quick. What I did, I shot the wire in, and then I'm gonna take a uh, some sort of uh, sharp piece, like uh, the end of this sharp right here, test light, and push it in a little bit. And then once it pushed in, when the opposite side, which is the male side, pushed in, it should stay. But uh, it didn't stay. I don't want to do too much work on this. I can solder this, but it take a lot of time and customer didn't want to pay enough already. So, so I poke a hole right there so I can push this, shove this wire through out like this. I'm going to plug the radio in. Well, before I plugged it in, I'm gonna have to tape it first. That way it won't come loose when he pulled this out because he's not getting a mounting bracket. That's gonna be a little bit challenge. So, tape it like that. As you can see, if I tape like this, I know for sure pretty good that it's not gonna come off. So, well, I mean, if they pull it hard enough, it'll come off. I'm not gonna say that. So, I'm gonna tie this. Crimp it out. And I'm going to tape all this thing right there. This cut it. M notice I didn't plug anything in yet. So that's why I'd be able to do that. Just tape both this wire. And I'm going to have to look for the uh, fuse that is burn up well which, which my black tape that I've just used it
I'm just gonna plug it in right now. I mean, it should work after I find the uh, plug for the fuse. I'm gonna tape this. I just used a black tape earlier. I don't know where, what happened. It must have fell in this thing. There's a bunch of stuff in here. After testing the fuse, one of these is blown right there. If you're looking at down here, this is a passenger side right there. You see this is 12 volt right there, the light's on. And then the other side is off. So I tested because I cannot read. It doesn't say anything here. So plug up, put another 20 amp fuse right there and it should work. And result right there and everything work. So just making sure everything good. Yep. Alrighty, that's it.